The first hurricane forecast of the 2024 season has been released from Colorado State University, and the forecast calls for an extremely active season in the Atlantic Basin. And this forecast is the highest prediction for named storms that Colorado State University has ever issued. Hey y'all, it's meteorologist Erica Lopez. Let's break down the forecast, the reasoning behind an active season, and what that means for residents across the eastern U.S. and Gulf Coast. The forecast calls for 23 named storms, 11 hurricanes, and 5 major hurricanes, when the average is 14 named storms, 7 hurricanes, and 3 major hurricanes. If the forecast verifies, that means that we could exhaust the list of names for the season, and we will have to use a supplementary list, which has not been used since its implementation back in 2020. Some of the factors that make for an active hurricane season are the current record warm sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic and a developing La Nina. Over the last several months, an El Nino has dominated the weather pattern across the U.S., leading to an extremely active winter across the southern tier of the U.S. Odds are in favor of a transition from El Nino to La Nina with a 62% chance by June through August of this year, right as the Atlantic hurricane season begins. A La Nina during the Atlantic hurricane season means more hurricanes due to weaker vertical wind shear, which means the change in wind speed and or direction with height in the Atlantic Basin and less stability, which favors the development of tropical storms and hurricanes. Some of the more notable hurricane seasons like 2005 and 2020 were under the influence of La Nina. Another important factor is the record warm sea surface temperatures in both the eastern and central Atlantic. They are anticipated to remain well above average during the hurricane season. A warmer environment also favors the formation and intensification of tropical storms and hurricanes. According to Colorado State University, the probability of seeing at least one landfalling major hurricane, which is a category three or above for the entire coastline of the U.S., is 62 percent, which is above the average of 43 percent. There's still a couple more months until the official start of the hurricane season, which is on June 1st. So forecasts may adjust and change over time, but it is important that if you live across the Gulf Coast or the eastern U.S., that you stay vigilant and prepared all season long. And of course, my radar has you covered. You can track hurricanes in our app using the hurricane tracker in the layers menu. And our team of meteorologists will keep you safe and informed all season long. So make sure to follow us all across the social media platforms and of course here on the my radar app. Follow my radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox and Windows.